So, you want to be able to see Twitch chat while playing Beat Saber? Lucky for you, I'm willing to teach you. All you have to do is give me one thumbs up on this video. Okay, I'm going to show you two different methods today on how to get your Twitch chat into your Beat Saber game. The first method is my preferred method using LibStreamerKit. It allows you to place the chat box in your environment, but your viewers don't see that chat box. The second method is enhanced stream chat, and that allows your viewers to also see the same chat box that you're seeing. So pick whichever one you prefer. If you're going with Liv, you need to go over to the Steam store so you can download the software. If you're going to use enhanced stream chat, you can skip ahead to the next section. Timestamps are in your pantry behind the peanut butter. Once you've downloaded Live, you can go ahead and launch your streamer kit. You won't need to use these other functions. These are going to be for the quest and for mixed reality. This is the only one you need for the chat. You'll go down to services and make sure that you log into your Twitch, give it permission or whatever it asks for. And then here you can change the position of your chat, your colors, background, highlights, different things that you want to be enabled on your chat box and then as well as alerts you can go ahead and turn on or off any of these things that you want and this is what it appears like in game again chat cannot see this box only you can to get enhanced stream chat onto your game you'll need to download the dll it's found in the beat saber modding group discord under pc mods i went ahead and put a link under your pillow you'll go ahead and download the mod you're also going to need to use Mod Assistant to get these three other mods that are required to run Enhanced Stream Chat. If you don't know how to use Mod Assistant, I do have a video that you can reference on how to mod Beat Saber. You'll go to your download folder, grab the mod, and place it into your plugins folder. You'll then go over to Mod Assistant and make sure you have the three required mods. Install them when you have it ready. Once you've got your mods installed, go ahead and launch Beat Saber. You'll see that the authentication has failed and you'll need to click on the settings wheel. You'll go over to Login and click here. Go to your web browser and make sure that you type in your channel name here. And then you're going to log into Twitch. You'll get this pop-up here to authorize. Then make sure and hit save settings. So go ahead and launch Beat Saber again. You should see that you were successfully able to log into your Twitch channel and then you'll be able to start receiving chats. Oh, look at that. Hmm. I hope today's video was helpful to you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you had any recommendations on other tutorials that you would like to see, let me know in the comments. Maybe I can make one of those videos in the future. I wish you the best of luck on Twitch and maybe I'll see you around. YouTube subscriptions are completely free. I actually love it when I get likes and subscribes on YouTube. You can sub to me today on YouTube, so feel free to go to my YouTube channel and, and subscribe.